Hey guys, I'm Happy Monster. In this mod showcase video, I'm gonna showcase some cool lasers that can help you mine your ores. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Here we have three different mining gadgets, the MK1, MK2, and MK3. These three lasers has the same functions, and the only difference is that they look different. So basically, you can just choose them based on your preference. And here's the crafting recipe for MK1, MK2, and MK3. Now, you would notice that these crafting recipes requires an item called the Blank Upgrade Module. This module is very important because every single item in this mod requires this to craft them. So to craft a Blank Upgrade Module, you will need 4 redstone dust, 2 lapis, 2 diamonds, and 1 glass pane. Next, I'm gonna talk about the upgrades on your gadgets. To add upgrades to your mining gadget, you will need a modification table, which is crafted with 6 iron ingots, 2 redstone dust and a blank upgrade module. Once you craft it, just place your laser here, shift click on the upgrades that you want to add in. To remove the upgrade, just click on it again. The first upgrade I'm going to show you is the silk touch upgrade. It's literally the same as the silk touch enchantment. To craft it, you will need 5 slime balls, 1 golden apple, 2 gold ingots and a blank upgrade module. The second one is Fort Junk. It allows you to blacklist or whitelist certain blocks. To do that, shift and right click on your mining gadget to open the gadget setting. For example, I can choose to blacklist cobblestone, which means the cobblestone I mined will disappear and I am getting other blocks like coal or gravel here. If I choose to whitelist cobblestone, that means I am only getting cobblestone and the other blocks I mined will disappear. To craft the fort junk, you will need 5 redstone dust, 2 obsidian, 2 ender pearls, and 1 upgrade module. Next is the magnet upgrade, which is crafted with 4 redstone dust, 2 gold ingots, 2 iron ingots, and a blank upgrade module. Basically, all the blocks you mined will automatically go into your inventory. The 3x3 upgrade means you can mine a 3x3 radius. If you suddenly want to mine a 1 block radius, you can open your gadget setting and change the size or how much you want to mine. The crafting recipe is 2 redstone blocks, 2 ender pearls, a diamond block, a diamond pickaxe, and a blank upgrade module. The light placer is pretty self-explanatory, which it will place these light particles when the light level is below 8, which is great for mining adventure. You will need 2 lanterns, 2 redstone lamp, 2 glowstone, 2 glowstone dust, and a blank upgrade module to craft it. Next is the freezing upgrade, which it will freeze water and turn lava into obsidian or cobblestone. Just keep in mind, you must mine a block in order to freeze water or lava. To craft a freezing upgrade, you'll need 8 snowballs and a blank upgrade module. After that is the fortune upgrade, which is the same as the fortune enchantment, giving you more or higher chance in item drops. You can also upgrade your tier 1 fortune to tier 3 with these crafting recipes. Do keep in mind that the fortune upgrade and the silk touch upgrade does not work together, just like the normal enchantment. The range upgrade also has 3 tiers with these crafting recipes. Basically, this upgrade allows you to extend your mining range by 5 times for each tier. So for tier 1, your max range is 10. Tier 2 has a 15 max range, and tier 3 has 20 max range. You can also edit your range through the gadget setting here. Next is the battery upgrade, which also has 3 tiers with these crafting recipes. Personally, I think this is very helpful, because it will increase the fuel or energy storage for your gadget. So your max default energy storage is 1 million. With tier 1, it will increase to 2 million. Tier 2 has 5 million. And tier 3 has 10 million energy storage. The last upgrade is efficiency, which means it will apply efficiency enchantment to your gadget, allowing you to mine faster. The upgrade has 5 tiers same as the enchantment, and here's the crafting recipe for them. When you open your mining gadget again, there are some settings I didn't mention about. So for the official settings, you can choose the breaking style here. Below that, you can choose your inner beam and glow color that you want with the RBG settings. Going back to the main menu, if your precision mode is true, it means it will only mine one block even if you're holding down your right click. But if it is false, it means it will keep mining when you're holding down your gadget. You can also choose the volume of your beam, because sometimes it could be very loud. And at the left side, you can just turn on or off any upgrades that you have applied. 
Finally, the last thing I want to talk about is charging, because as you know, it needs energy. There are a lot of mobs out there that can help you to charge, but here's a very simple mod called the Charging Gadget, created by the same creator of Mining Gadget. It adds a very important and useful item called the Charging Station. The charging station is not very hard to craft, with 4 iron ingots, 2 redstone dust, 2 lapis, and a coal block. On the first slot, you can put any type of fuel, wood, coal, coal block, charcoal, or lava. And lava might be the best option to use. Once you've got your fuel burning, place your gadget at the right slot here, and you will see it charges automatically. In the last video, I talked about a mod called Scannable, and I got a lot of questions asking how to charge the scanner. So now, you can also use this charging station for your scanner. It might not be the best charging mod in the game, but it is very easy to use and it gets the job done. So yeah, that's everything for this mod showcase video. I hope you guys enjoy it, and if you do, please like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have an awesome day. Bye!